Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by. My name is Jim Falk and I'm with trailgear.org. Today I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on using a fire piston. Fire pistons are a two-piece mechanism with a plunger, a rubber seal, and a metal or brass sealed tube. Basically you plunge the plunger into the, into the, um, the sealed tube and this creates enough heat by compressing the air down to very like one sixteenth of an inch and that heat for a split second will be hot enough to take a piece of charcoal off and create a burning ember. You then take the burning ember and place it into a tinder bundle, blow it into a flame. Basically create your tinder bundle first. In this case I use 100 percent jute twine. You can get this at Home Depot, Lowe's, um, any uh, hardware store. 100% jute twine. In its twine form, it's very good for camp crafts and securing your gear. But if you take 8 to 10 pieces about this long and cut it off and then shred it, you can create a uh, nice little fuzz ball which can be used as a tinder bundle to start your fire. What I see most people make a mistake with uh, using fire pistons is they try to start the fire with a little piece of tinder that's put in the tip of the uh, plunger of the fire piston. It's very hard to start a fire with that little small piece of a burning ember and they usually have a tendency of going out rather quick. What I do is I use a small piece of tinder in the tip of the plunger in the fire piston, create a burning ember and then transfer it to larger pieces of char cloth in my tinder bundle and then blow that into a flame. I find that to be far easier than trying to start a fire with just a little piece of char cloth. So, next step, take a little piece of lubricant from Lube Wells. This model of fire piston has a two holes which hold lubricant. In this case, this is lubricant is um, I believe Crisco or you could use Vaseline. Just make sure that you use a lubricant that has no salts in it. Uh, salts will have a tendency to corrode the brass tubing inside the fire piston. You don't want to do that. So, lubricate the seal. Wipe off your hands. Take a tiny piece of char cloth and put it in the tip in your fire piston. Once you have your char cloth, a small, small piece put in the tip of your fire piston and the plunger in, you take it, insert it into the the uh, brass tube. Turn it over, hit it hard, blow on it, get yourself a burning ember, and then transfer the burning ember to the larger piece of char cloth in your tinder bundle. See how it's glowing? Now, once you get that glowing, fold it over and then blow it into a flame. Well, uh, you have fire. And that's how you start a fire using a fire piston. Remember, the small piece that you have in the tip of your plunger, you want to use that as an igniter. You don't want to use that as a method of trying to start the fire. You just use that as a uh, spark generator, so to speak. You create the burning ember on the tip and then transfer it to a larger piece of char cloth, which is then placed into your tinder bundle and then you blow it into a flame. I hope this has uh, been some help to you. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day.